BBC Surrey. Travel you trust. Call 0370 411 1046. It's looking a little bit grim out, out there uh, on the roads this evening. Sylvia will be back with the latest travel within the next 10 minutes. Now, it's 12 minutes past five and the fallout from Britain's decision to leave the EU is continuing with a start warning of tax rises and spending cuts as a result. The Chancellor, George Osborne, said predictions about the impact on finances have started to be borne out by events, including falls in the value of the pound and markets. Meanwhile, as you've been hearing, David Cameron has arrived in Brussels to discuss the boat with the European leaders and we're going to cross to our political reporter at Westminster to talk through that in a few minutes time. Just who the Prime Minister's successor will be when he steps down later this summer is of course still the million dollar question. George Osborne has ruled himself out. Boris Johnson and Home Secretary Theresa May are among the contenders. South West Surrey MP and Health Secretary Jeremy Hunt is also seriously considering entering the race. And he's calling for a deal on leaving the EU to be negotiated and then put before the electorate, either through a referendum or a general election. The people know that in this country they are sovereign. And I think it is absolutely right, having exercised democracy in that profound way, that when we take the next step which is the terms of our leaving the EU, finalising those terms, somehow we need to know that people support the direction of travel we're going on. Well, let's speak now to Dave Ash, who stood as a candidate for the National Health Action Party at the last general election. Hi, Dave. Hi, Catherine. So what's your reaction to uh, the possibility we could have Mr Hunt as Prime Minister? Well, I think it's important to look to Jeremy Hunt's record in office for a flavour of what he might be like um, if he was ever Prime Minister. Um, when he was Culture, Media and Sport Minister, tasked with overseeing the B Sky B deal, he was scandalously found to have been too close to Rupert Murdoch and was hastily removed from post. While Health Secretary, he acted beyond his powers when he tried to transfer services out of Lewisham Hospital to pay off the debts of a neighbouring trust, which was found to be unlawful in court. He lost that battle in the High Court twice and then changed the law in response. More recently, he's managed to alienate and demoralise the entire NHS workforce, prompting the first doctor's strike for decades and is in the process of removing the nurse's bursary. Now, Dave, some people might say there are problems with the doctor's contracts. For many people, he's been a brave health secretary, hasn't he, who's taken a stand for what he believes in? Well, what he's pushing for, of course, under this bogus seven-day NHS project, which he intends to fund on four days' money... Um, what he's pushing for is the, the whole scale and total privatisation of the NHS. Um, he's moving us towards the United States insurance-based model. And if your listeners are in any doubt of this, there's a video on YouTube that the Keep House and Helia Hospital campaign group posted uh, entitled Jeremy Hunt Drops a Clanger. I would urge all of your listeners to have a look at that. He, uh, he advocates moving to a model similar to that that Kaiser Permanente operate in the US. They're the biggest health maintenance organisation over there. Um, and they've been in the news for patients being denied care on the grounds of cost. OK, well... So just moving away from that just slightly, what about the argument that the, he, he clearly is willing to stand up for what he believes and actually be quite brave because he's gone against a lot of people, a lot of people are unhappy with it. Do you think he's the right type of person to represent us as a country? I've got absolutely no doubt that if, that, if this man was appointed Prime Minister, and I mean appointed, um, then he would treat the British people with precisely the same contempt that he's shown for the people that work for the NHS. Having said all of that, Boris Johnson has hardly showered himself in glory either, um, despite his uh, silly hair and his buffoon act, and it is an act, um, so the choice is a bit like being asked if I'd rather be stabbed or shot. Um, perhaps the Conservative Party would be better off if it were led for, by someone with real Conservative values, and I'm thinking perhaps Hillary Benn would be a good candidate. I think Hilary Benn may have ruled himself out of it, but watch this space, I think, Dave. Dave, thanks ever so much. We'll leave Thank it there for you. this evening. That's uh, Dave Ash, who stood as a candidate for the National Health Action Party at the last election. Now, as the uh, UK... Can